Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're moving right along through a passage in John describing the story of Doubting Thomas. And yesterday I described some uh, vacation stories. My wife and I like to go road tripping and using Airbnb. And one of the, the places my wife has been after me for years and years to go to is she, she wants to go to uh, the casinos. She enjoys Las Vegas, Atlantic City. It's not really my thing. I, I don't like to uh, risk losing money. I don't have enough money to risk losing. <laughs> I don't even really like buying scratch off lottery tickets. It's just, it's not my thing. Um, I guess maybe I, I don't like to really take risks all that much. And, you know, I remember a, a finance class uh, that I took back in college, and they described the principle of risk versus reward, the greater. The risk, the greater the reward, but there's also risk management and managing an acceptable amount of risk. And I guess for me, uh, an acceptable amount of risk is zero. But uh, in this story, Jesus says to his disciples, Peace be with you as the Father has sent me, so I send you. Jesus sends his disciples out from the safety and security of their locked doors of the, the upstairs room where they were hiding. He sends them out into the world, and as we know from the story, uh, they faced, uh, uh, they had a risk a lot and, and faced a lot of scary situations. And in fact, most of them were martyred eventually for their faith. But risk is, is sort of an integral component of trust. And it's hard to really foster and grow trust in God if we're not willing to take any risks. We don't like risk. Risk makes us feel vulnerable. And, and, you know, for many people in the church, they don't like trying new things, to to try new wrinkles in worship, to to experience new music, to to do things in community with other congregations, uh, to to spend money on things we're not used to spending money on, like mission and, and outreach, to, to put new people in charge of things, in leadership positions. All of these things require a certain level of risk, and, and most people in the church don't like it. But how do we really trust in God if we don't ever risk? If risk is truly the only way to grow trust, then it's an essential component for us in our, our personal lives of faith and, and communally as well. No risk, no reward. The reward is a greater relationship with God. Amen.